All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to understand what is dynamic routes in Next.js. So we are creating the contacts and if we have hundreds of contacts, we are not going to create 100 contacts pages. Instead of this, a better solution is to create a dynamic route. So you can create a slug like this. You have a square brackets and you give the ID of your contact. Inside this, you can just create a page.tsx and this is how my page.tsx looks like. So we have a contact page. We can make use of a params to get the ID of our contact and then we can have the ID that we are going to access this. So here if I go to the local host slash contact slash one, then we see that we have the contact one here. And if we want to make it dynamic and go for the second contact, then we just have to change the URL. We have the contact two, we have contact three. Using the dynamic routes with a single page, you can create multiple contacts. So this is the day five of my 30 days next JS challenge. Follow along and I will show you more what to build next. Save this reel for the next project. Thank you.